everyone. Today we're going to continue our series with the Click PLC and what we're going to do is establish communications three different methods or three different ways. All right, the first way is to use the USB to RS-232. So here I have my Click PLC and I have my uh, USB adapter. This is the EAMG PGM dash CBL and it goes into an RJ12 which goes into the PLC port number two and I have my USB connector here and if we go to the click PLC software we call it up and what you'll notice is that there's a couple of different ways we can actually communicate to this so we or get to the, the menu that we want we can use this to click um, online instead of offline we can go up here and hit the icon, which will say connect, or we can go to PLC and hit connect. When we do that, um, you will actually see a um, exactly what we have here, which is that's our part number. So there's our communication device. It's a USB connection, COM6, and then we can look at the detail of that, and it tells you all the list of all the COM ports that are available on your computer. We also um, the, it tells you about the COM communication settings. It's Modbus that we're communicating to, the baud rate. Um, this is the bits per second that allow the information to flow back and forth. The click address, so it defaults to one. The parity and stop bits. We could do an auto detect, and what the auto detect will actually do is it will actually run through a, a lot of different options trying to communicate. Because we already know it's COM6, and from our previous uh, uh, lesson, what we did was we communicated to or installed that uh, software so we know exactly what uh, COM port it is and the settings. Um, we can always go back to the default settings if we want to. We have an advanced uh, setting which will allow us to do the timeout and the retries. I usually use everything as default there. And then we have a connection test. What this will do is just tell us if everything looks good and it's communicating, which it says it is. So when we hit connect, it'll do is it'll ask you, do you want to read the uh, program from the PLC or do you don't want to read it and just communicate? Well, we want to read it. We ha really haven't got a program in it right now. So we'll hit OK. Um, no, we don't want to save that. And what it does is reads it from the PLC and then we come up. So now we know we're online. We have it here. It says online. It says we are our mode of the PLC, which is run. We have no errors in it. And up here, you see that our connect is now um, blocked out and we have a disconnect that we can actually then follow. If we under look under PLC, we also have a disconnect here. And as these options are now available to us. So that's what we know that we're actually communicating. So what we're going to do is just uh, disconnect now. And it'll prompt us, do you really want to disconnect? We'll say yes. Okay, our next method that we're going to try is we're going to, we'll unplug our RS-232, our USB port. And what we're going to do is we'll get rid of that one. And we will try our... Um, RS-485. So I'll plug this uh, one in and we will communicate to port number three of our PLC. Plug it. Okay. Now once it's plugged in, again what we do is we go up here and we can uh, select our connection and again what we're going to do is we're going to select the USB port. Um, right now it's COM5. We can look at the detail again. Yep, sure enough, uh, uh, it's going to be COM5 on that particular one. And our Modbus settings are the same. We can click the connect and connection test, and it passed. And so you can ignore this picture here. What it basically is, is that's the default, and that's what usually I uh, use to communicate. In this case here, I'm using my 45 adapter. So I will hit connect. We will read from the PLC. Now we don't want to change it. 
and we're again we're reading from the PLC and it pops up. So right now we've communicated two different methods USB RS-45 as well as um, 232. What you'll notice there on the port port number two and three the lights are flashing we can say that it's you can see that's uh, visually that's communicating back and forth so let's disconnect from there yes we will and the final method that we're going to try is we're going to try an ethernet uh, rj uh, for or 45 so we'll plug our communication port in here and by far, this is the uh, quickest method that we have for communicating. Let's get it stable there, so there we go. So you can see that my uh, Ethernet automatically picks it up. And what we'll do here is, again, we'll look at connection. So connect. In this case here, we're going to select Ethernet. And what you'll notice automatically is it'll come up and it will actually tell you um, where that PLC is on the network. And if I hit connect right now, I can see that my mask is there. And that's currently what we're set for. So if we hit connect and we'll read the PLC. No, we don't want to change it. And there we go, we're connected now and we're talking Ethernet now to the Click PLC. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe um, to our uh, website at www.accautomation.ca. And also like us on uh, YouTube. It'll help other people find the information just like you have.